I, I think health needs assessment particularly important for the lives and outcomes of children because we have to make sure that the right services reach children when they need them. If you're a newly qualified health visitor, the one thing you can really do to help a child and improve their, their outcomes is really look at that child's development and really look at that interaction between the child and the mother or the father if you have a chance um, because that is the thing that will really tell you whether that child needs any extra help or not. You really need to know child development and parent and child interaction and that will tell you what the needs are of that child and that's the assessment that you do all the time. The key to needs assessment is to listen and to look, not to talk and ask questions. We don't want to be going into people's homes and bombarding them with a huge amount of screening questions, however well intended, because what can happen then is that the, the parents start to think, well, why is she asking me that question? And you stop the mother from having a chance to say, do you know, I was just wondering about, I was just wondering if the way he walks is all right. I just, my friend said, her daughter doesn't do what my daughter does. Is that all right? And it's those little, just cues that lead you into what's really worrying the mother, not a, a huge battery of tests and questions. Remember to give the mother the chance to talk and tell you what's wrong or what's right. So what's particular about the health visiting role is that health visitors get to see all children. That means that they get to see normal and they get to see people across the community whether there's something wrong with them or not. The paediatricians only see people who have a problem, but health visitors see all children. And that gives them a very unique perspective um, to feed into that wider contribution of health needs assessment, because they really do have a, a, a deeply embedded sense of what is normal and what is not normal. One of the things that happens with health visiting is that after you've got to know a caseload over a period of time, you very soon get a picture of what's going on in that estate or that tower block or that village or wherever your caseload is, that estate. Um, you very quickly know what's going on in the local community. One of the very first pieces of research that I did a health visitor said to me, and she, she showed it with her hands, and she drew a circle like this. And she said, when you have a caseload and you get to know it, it's like this, and the health visitor's there in the middle. And you're not a pivot, and you're not the central thing, but you're there making a difference to this whole community. And I think that's a better description than I could ever make. So health needs assessment for where the health visitor is working is also something that health visitors need to feed into. And that's much more to do with understanding epidemiology, much more about um, working, uh, working with figures, talking to the public health directors, finding out what's going on in terms of uh, input mortality in the area, why has there been a spike in um, whooping cough? What's happening to the vaccination figures? Those sorts of things, and, and also all of the social determinants of health. One of the things about health needs assessment that, that I think has changed, particularly in the last maybe 10 years, is that health visitor needs assessments still depend very much on that health visitor's professional knowledge and the, the deep embedded knowledge and skills that health visitors have. But part of that is that over that same last 10 years or so, we've got so much more new knowledge. 
so much more new knowledge about how children develop, about family change, about the social determinants of health, um, and early signs that we perhaps wouldn't have recognised even a decade ago. So I think even somebody who has been working as a health visitor in all that time needs to really work to keep up to date with all these new scientific developments. Um, it's not just the newly qualified health visitors who also need to get to grips with a much broader knowledge than I did when I trained years ago as a health visitor. I think you can't assess health needs accurately if you're not up to date. Um, and it's really important to be accurate because it affects the outcomes for children and families. Uh, we don't have very many opportunities to meet with families these days, certainly not to meet with them in depth. And so we have to be very accurate each time we see a child and a family as to whether they have any particular needs or not. It can make a difference to that child's future development as to whether the health visitor is up to date with the latest information and able to feed that in to her or his needs assessment practice or not.